Hey guys, happy Vlogmas. Okay, I am back with more mama content. I'm gonna go through all the stuff that I just got off my baby registry. So Matt and I went to Target when I got off work today. Sorry, I'm trying to set you up better. Okay, that should be fine. Um, okay, so we are officially four weeks away from my due date, which is so crazy to think about. Like, I feel like I just hit the 10 week away mark like yesterday and now all of a sudden it's like literally gonna happen any second. So <clears throat> I'm 36 weeks today and I'm definitely feeling the pressure to like get things done. So I, uh, I went to Target and got all the stuff, like the in-store stuff that I could get. Some of it was only like online only stuff. So I will, I think I'm gonna order all the online stuff at the beginning of next week. Um, I set up my budget weekly. So anyway, I will budget for the rest of the stuff. Then, uh, but today I used a bunch of the cash I got for the baby on all the baby stuff. My grandma lovingly gave me 500 freaking dollars for baby stuff. So I stashed that away and figured I would use it at the very end to like gather all the rest of the extra stuff. And that is precisely what I did. So I figured today we could go through all the last minute items I got and then go from there. And I think what I want to do, because I know you guys saw me like attempt to pack my hospital bag. <laughs> I, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get it all packed up and then I'll make a separate video of going through everything that's in there. I feel like that'll be easier than trying to like gather things while filming. So anyway, let's just get into the stuff we got. There's so many bags. It's crazy. I've never really... Um, been on a shopping spree before it was very exciting <laughs> but they give you um i think it's when you hit like two months out from your due date you get like 15 percent off like the rest of the stuff in your registry and you can do like one in-store shopping spree and one online shopping spree so i made sure to strategically get absolutely everything that i could at this time so let me pull some things out. Okay. So first thing, these pacifier wipes. So basically like, you know how you drop pacifiers everywhere and they're always on the floor and they're not clean. These are easy. You just pull them out, wipe them off. Good to go. Um, there's not very many. This is like a really skinny pouch. So I'm guessing we're going to go through this really fast, but I figured it was just good to just have it to start with. So in any scenario, most of this stuff is just like to get us going, you know? So we're just like, we have all our bases covered, all that jazz. These I've been wanting for so long, probably not going to be relevant right out the gate. You freeze these, um, so the baby can chew on them, but she's obviously probably not going to be teething for a little bit, but got those anyway. Um, ah, uh, milk storage pouches gotta have those because unless I have any sort of issue with breastfeeding I will be pumping like a champ so we will need to store them I don't know if I told you guys this but my goal is to um, I know you have to breastfeed for a couple weeks like just breastfeeding so as to not like get that nipple confusion or whatever going on but what I would like ideally is for at least once a day, Matt or somebody else to be able to bottle feed her. Um, I don't know, I, I know that it's such like a big bonding experience to feed your child and I don't want to be the only one who gets to do that because I know it's so hard for dads to feel bonded to their kids, especially right in the beginning because there's not really like a ton for them to do. So as soon as it is the right call to add in a bottle a day, then I will have breast milk stored up for him to use. So that's what I was thinking there. Um, I got this uh, cover, this boppy cover. I may have accidentally seen that one of my Christmas presents was a boppy. 
So <laughs> that's what happens when you have a registry. You can see who buys you things and what you what what is purchased. So anyway, I wanted to have a secondary cover. So um, if it gets dirty or she spits up on it, whatever, I can switch out the cover real quick while the other one is in the wash. So we got that. Um, let's go over that all at once. Ah, I got my manual breast pump. So uh, some people have really good luck with their like the pumps you can get through insurance, like the machine ones or whatever. Um, and then other people rave about having the manual pump and how it's more convenient. So um, I have this now, which at least for any like emergency immediate needs right after I give birth, I'll have this. I know it takes a little while for your milk to come in, so it can be kind of a, a process waiting for that to happen. But uh, the way my insurance works, they won't send me my breast pump until my due date or they won't even process my request until my due date. So I don't know how long it's gonna take for my actual like electronic pump to get here. So definitely wanted to have this so that I had something for as long as it takes for the pump to get here. Um, let's see, this is all one category. Oh, also, if you remember when I was packing um, the suitcase, I like felt like I had nothing to pack. So Matt had the idea of getting little travel toothbrushes and um, travel stuff for our shampoo and body wash and all that kind of stuff so that I can be pre-packed and we don't have to worry about grabbing our own like big versions of things. So we got some travel stuff to put in the suitcase. Um, Okay, so I don't know if this is relevant to all kids, if all kids get this, or if this is just like a possibility, but I heard of this thing called cradle cap, which is kind of like red crusty peely skin on the baby's head. So I got this little brush cleaning system thing in case that happens. Um, I definitely need to learn more about cradle cap because I don't really understand, but Apparently, this is a three-step system specially designed to fix the flake situation. Oh, and then it gives you instructions. Okay, anyway, just in case we encounter that. Oh my gosh, I feel like I keep finding out things about having a baby and being pregnant that I never heard of before. Like a couple days ago, I heard of a, what's it called, a blep? It's like some like cherry tomato looking thing you can get on your boob if you're breastfeeding. I had never heard of that before. It sounds really scary and really unpleasant. So <laughs> gotta look into that more too because I had never heard of a blep. So if you know things about bleps, let me know in the comments because I would love to learn more about what causes that because I'm not interested. Okay, what else do we have? That's that's Oh my god, we can set this up. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, we'll probably set this up tomorrow because my video is getting kind of long. But this is uh, the new sound machine I got. We, My mom already got me one sound machine. But what I'm thinking is when I go back to work, I want to be able to take one of the sound machines to leave at work. So when the baby's sleeping, we can have the white noise going while I'm at work. So... Oh, and the other thing was this one, it glows. It glows colors, so you can have some like really subtle light when you have to wake up during the night to feed the baby. So you don't have to like turn on all the lights and like blind yourself. You can just have like this really subtle, like just enough to see what's going on kind of light in your sound machine. So I thought this would be really cool to have for nighttime sound machine stuff. And then I can have the other sound machine at work during the day. So I'm very excited to set that up. Okay, last but not least is a full category, and it is all about me and my hoo-ha. So, so long as, oh my god, it looks so big. She's gigantic. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I look particularly gigantic. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, I will stop looking at myself. Distractions. Okay, so I got a bunch of aftercare stuff. <laughs> so part of me 
is hesitant to fully open this because if for whatever reason I have to get a C-section, all of this becomes irrelevant. Um, but I got the postpartum recovery kit. So it's got the, it's got four disposable postpartum underwear. It has four instant ice pad thingies. Um, cooling pad liners, the healing foam, and the toilet top storage caddy. I wonder if there's a way to like delicately open this so it's like ready to go, but also if I don't use it, I can return it kind of a thing. Let's see. It looks like it opens pretty nice. Oh, that's, oh my God, look at that. At the top it says, shit, it's about to get real. Oh, that's encouraging. Oh, okay, it comes right out. All right, cool. So I am pretty much set up. I don't really even need to take it out of the box because it's like ready. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that all in there and not unpack anything until absolutely necessary because I know it's in there. And then that way, if it becomes unnecessary, it's still good to give away. Okay, so I have that. And then I also got, since there's only like four of each of the things in there, I also got the pack of just like, just the disposable undies. So I'll have plenty of those because I'm still not totally sure how many the hospital's gonna give me. Um, but then I also heard this is the deal because the one the hospital gives you doesn't have that little like angle bit there. It's just a straight one. So you kind of have to like, this one just, is easier, you know, because it goes bloop right where it needs to go. A little, what's it called? A peri bottle. Very necessary. And then I also got these Tux cooling pads, which everyone and their mother recommends for the witch hazel pads that you put in there. So I have all of that. I think the only thing I couldn't get my hands on through Target was the Dermaplast spray. So that's still on my online order list. So I got to get that. But I think that's everything. Um, oh, I also got uh, a carpet cleaner, but that's a whole other thing, so we'll talk about that later. But anyway, I just wanted to share all of my goods with you because it was very exciting to go and shop all these things. And thank you, Grandma, for funding this adventure at Target. Um, I know she doesn't watch my videos, but super appreciative of you taking care of our little family. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.